good morning students today we will continue the lesson number 8 economy and occupation only the last topic of this lesson is remaining so today we will finish that topic before of uh, starting the lesson we will just go through and recall the topic which we have studied in previous lecture yesterday we have studied about the yesterday we have studied about the industries in brazil and india so we have learned that in brazil there are major industries include iron steel production automobile assembly petroleum processing chemical production cement industries are in brazil most technological based industries have been developed and used in brazil but traditional industries are also being used in brazil for the production purpose there are also sugar industries cotton industries silk and woolen industries in brazil develop in brazil most of the large industries are concentrated in the south and east southeast of brazil many large and big industries are in the south and southeast of the brazil only the northeast is traditionally the poorest part of brazil so it is attracting the new investment in industrial sector then we have studied about the various uh, logos that are used by the industries in india so these are the logos used by the industry for the purity of the goods and the product they produce for the standardization of the goods for the standardization of the uh, industry so by this the brand of the product can be known ongc means oil and natural gas corporation rinl means rashtriya ispat nigam limited ra is a milk colony the name of a milk colony given neighbor neighborhood in goriga CLW is Chitranjan Locomotive Work. The next is the Maharashtra Agro Industries Development Corporation. KBIC is Khadi or Gram Udyog Ayog. Central Silk Board India. And RCF means Rashtriya Chemical and Fertilizer Limited. So these are the logos of the various industries in India, and these industries use raw material. ONGC use crude oil it is related to the oil and natural gas corporation RINL use raw material iron ore and cooking coal RA use raw material as milk CLW is a chitranjan locomotive work related to the central indian railway so it requires uh, iron coal these are the raw material it used maharashtra agro industry development program it is related to agro industry so it mainly use the raw material get from the agriculture product such as food grain kbic is khadi or gram udyog ayog khadi is related to clothes so for making clothes or the for the production of clothes thread is needed and thread is made from the cotton so the raw material used here is cotton central silk board india it is a silk so it is also related to nature and then raw material it is used is silk worm rcf is rashtriya chemical and fertilizer so it related to the chemical and fertilizer so the raw material used by this is oil natural oil and mineral so these are the various logos yesterday we have studied now industries in india there are various industries in india diversity of industries in india because there are various minerals found in india due to the diversity of minerals found in every state of india there is increase in the industrial sector there are various metallurgical industries in india chota nagpur is the mainly famous
then india we also have have uh, agro based industries forest based industries cement industries oil refineries industries also and the production is done of this industries on large scale and all these industries in india are uh, develop in the area where the raw material is available on a large production on a large scale oil in the boy in assam around the brahmaputra basin this is the oil refinery industries in india oil in the boy is a very big industry in assam around the brahmaputra basin oil well near mumbai coast there is also oil well near the mumbai coast and the mica these are the famous industries large production is also there in india so as compared to brazil india is di india has diversity in minerals and industries then we have seen about the import export and balance of trade balance of trade mean the difference in value between a country's import and export the country imports some goods and also exports some goods with the other country so this trade of the country for example india or brazil any country so the balance between the import and export is called the balance of trade for the favorable trade favorable balance of trade there should be more export than import there should be more export because of more export trade will increase economy of the country will also be in so yesterday we have Study this table. According to this table, we have seen that India's export is less and import is more. As per the year 2009, 10, 2010, 11, 2011, 12, and 2012, 13. As per the year in this table, we have studied that India's export is less and import is more. And while we have seen of Brazil, in every year we have seen the Import is more, and import is less. Export is more, more. This shows that there is a favorable trade in Brazil. The balance of trade is favorable. When the country's export is more, this shows that the country is not dependent. So. in india we have seen export is more and import is in india export is less and import is more india's balance of trade belong to unfavorable type the next we have studied the graph the graph showing the contribution of trade in gdp the graph showing the contribution of trade in gdp the graph is given of the, these two countries brazil and india here is given 1960 1970 1980 1990 2000 2010 there is a gap of 10 years between each year and at last 2010 and 2016 there is a gap of 6 years So in this we can see pink line indicate India and the blue line indicate Brazil. So percentage of trade of India we have seen in starting it is low, but at is development is done. Good machineries, new technology in industries. There is development in Indian trade. But in Brazil we can see. as compared to india it is not that much developing industry the next we have seen that the both countries india and brazil export import of goods which are the goods they export 
and which are the goods they import and their trading partners brazil export goods are iron ore coffee cocoa cotton sugar tobacco oranges and banana these are the goods exported by brazil brazil imports machinery chemical products fertilizer wheat heavy vehicles mineral oils and lubricants this is imported by brazil and the trading partner of brazil is germany usa canada italy argentina saudi arabia and india while well, we see of india india export tea mangoes coffee spices leather goods iron ore cotton and silk textile and india imports petrol machines pearls precious stones gold and silver paper medicine etc so these are the goods imported by india and the trading partners of india is uk usa germany japan china russia etc and in both these common countries of trading partners we can see germany and us in both these trading partner companies we can see common germany and us a so now we will study brick what is brick it is an acronym for brazil russia india china and south africa brick means b stands for brazil r stands for russia i stands for india c stands for china and s stands for south africa these are the five countries which come together for the development of their country it was established in year 2006 the objective of these countries why they came together is to grow faster than the developed country and to play an increasingly important role in india the main objective of this country is for coming together is to grow faster than developed countries some countries are developed like us it is developed country in every field in every sector it is developed and these countries brick countries they are developing so to develop rapidly and fast and faster than the developed countries to play an increasing important role in the world these countries come together and form brick to increase their trade to increase their economy to increase in every field in every sector of industries and others too so this is the reason why brics is formed it is an acronym for brazil russia india china and south africa so it is called as brics now there is again a graph given of export and import of brazil import from brazil and export to brazil in million us dollar it is given in million us dollar two lines we can see pink line is import from brazil and the blue line indicates export to brazil 
year is given down 2008, 2009, 2010, 2011, 2012, 2013, 2014, 2015. And million dollars also given 1000, 2000, 3000, 4000, 5000, 6000, 7000. And the lines which are going on the graph up and down that shows the progress, the increase or decrease in the import and export. From this, blue line indicate blue line is very much higher than the pink line. We can see in 2011 and 2014. Blue line is much higher than the pink line. This shows that export of Brazil is more than import. And the pink line shows import from Brazil and that is blue. So there are some questions. We will go through the question and answer this question from the graph. Shows the trade between India and Brazil. So this graph shows the trade between India and Brazil. What are, how much is the import and how much is the export from Brazil to India. In which year, first question, in which year the value of export to Brazil exceeds the import from Brazil? They have asked for the year the value of export to Brazil exceeds the import from Brazil. From Brazil, what is the export? So we can see in 2008, export is blue line. They have asked export is more, but in which year? In 2008, we can see import is less, export is high. Then in 2009, we can't see that because in 2009, export is less and import is more. But in 2010, we can see that the blue line is higher than the pink line, means the export is more. In 2011, also the same condition. 2012, we see that the export to Brazil is less and import from Brazil is more. 2013, we can see there is increase in export to Brazil. 2014, there is also increase. And in 2015, also we can see it is also increased as per import from Brazil. Now, next second question. In which year the trade with Brazil is most favorable to all? In this graph, import from Brazil and export, which is the favorable? Favorable means what? Favorable balance of trade, I have told you. That there should be balance between the import and export. There should be not too much difference between the import and export. If export is more, it's good. Import is less, it's good for a country. But if import is more and export is less, it's not good. It goes in an unfavorable. But the year in 2013, we can see in which year the trade with Brazil is most favorable. So in 2013, we can see it is most favorable. Export is higher and import from Brazil is low. Comment on the balance of trade in 2013. 2013, they have asked, we can see that export is more and the import is less in 2013. Fourth question, in which year was the value of export to Brazil was the maximum? In which year the value to export to Brazil was maximum? So export to Brazil, in which year? 2014. Export is more. In 2014, export is more. From which year the value to export to Brazil have exceeded the value of import from Brazil? Fourth question is, from which year the value of export to Brazil have exceeded the value of import from Brazil? 
we can see that condition in 2013 in 2013 the value of export to brazil have exceeded means the goods which india has exported to brazil is more and the import from brazil is less so this graph shows the trade between india and brazil the pink line indicates the import from brazil and the export to brazil which india has done so as per the trade condition of india and brazil we have studied that indian economies have set up industrial centers all over brazil and invested a lot of capital from this uh, we can see that from the graph we have studied that the export to brazil from india is more export to brazil from india is more as compared to import so indian companies there are various industry companies set up industrial centers all over the brazil there are various industrial companies and industries which are set up in brazil and invested a lot of capital and the capital invested by india is also high in brazil the indian companies have invested in such sector as it pharmaceutical energy agri business mining engineering and auto sector the indian companies have invested in the sectors as it these are the sectors different sector different industries in brazil where india has invested sectors of it information technology pharmaceuticals energy agri business mining engineering and auto sector brazil footprint in india is smaller but important as we have seen that india's company and industrial all over brazil is invested a lot india has also invested in the company such as it agriculture business mining engineering and auto sector this is of the india we have seen but brazil footprint in india is also smaller but it is very important for india also the footprint of brazil means the industrial business or the investment of brazil is less as compared to india but it is important the brazilian companies have investment in automobile it mining energy biofuels footwear sector in india as we have seen that in the indian companies have also invested in brazilian companies such as it pharmaceutical energy agri business mining and engineering and auto sector like that brazil companies have also invested in automobiles it mining energy biofuels footwear in sector in india so both the countries are doing business brazil is also doing in india also and india is also doing in brazil but the footprint of brazil in india is smaller as compared to india but it is important too so this we have studied in this lesson so from this we learn that the import from brazil to india is less and the export to brazil the goods and the commodities products are export to brazil from india is high the graph tells us the clear idea this graph gives us a clear idea that the import from brazil pink line indicates the import is less and the exportation of the goods to brazil is more from india as per the year we have seen
do you know brazil has been the largest producer of coffee for the last 150 years brazil has been the largest producer of coffee we have known that brazil is known as the coffee pot of the world so the largest producer of coffee is brazil from the last 150 years the plant belongs originally to ethiopia the plant of the coffee plant which are now grown in brazil it's originally belongs to ethiopia the name of the place is ethiopia it was first brought to brazil by some french settlers it was brazil in brazil it was brought by the french people there were some french people they came to live in brazil in olden days they have brought that plant who established in the state of para in the early 18th century and they have planted that plant in the 18th century in brazil coffee farms are called fazenda coffee farms in brazil as we know that brazil is called the coffee pot and the farms that of the coffee are known as fazenda fazenda is the word used for the coffee farm taxes are an important part of the economy and trade of any country as we all know that everyone has to pay the taxes while we purchase any goods also everyone has to pay the tax on every commodity every goods every product we purchase so it is an important part of the economy and trade of the country india has now switched to the gst we know that gst is charged on every good So GST means goods and service tax. G for goods, S for service, T for tax. So GST means goods for service tax. And in India, has switched to GST, which aims towards one tax all over the country and various commodities and services. As I have told you, tax on every commodities and services. Brazil too has adopted the system from 1984. at this system of taxation brazil has adopted in the year 1984 like india in brazil too gst has various slabs in india we are uh, we have gst so in the like that only brazil also has gst various slabs so taxes are important so india has uh, switched to gst and like that also brazil has also switched to gst so we have studied the lesson economy and occupation now we will go through just uh, revision of the lesson from the next period we will start with the new lesson ninth lesson definition of economy so i have explained you what is the definition of economy economy is a relation between production and trade supply of money economy is a relation between production and trade supply of money the production which is done trading is done all the goods and the production which is done that should be supplied to every shops every malls for the consumption by the consumer and the supply of money the economy deals with the production distribution consumption management of resources in specific geographical area it is known as economy then we have studied the three main types of occupation primary occupation secondary occupation tertiary occupation primary occupation involves activities extracting from raw food from nature secondary those involved with the processing and manufacturing of the goods and the tertiary occupation providing services to people so these are the three main occupations carried in so as per the economies and the situation of the brazil and india we saw that the india has a higher national income than brazil india's national income is higher than brazil 
Brazil wind is one of the most giant of mining, agricultural, manufacturing, and it has strong and rapidly growing sector. The sector is growing in Brazil is high. The population engaged in uh, agriculture or the primary occupation is less. In India, it is high. On the other hand, India is still dependent on agriculture, though service sector is also increasing in India. India is still dependent on agriculture. Large population of the people are engaged in agriculture, primary occupation. Like the Indian economy, the Brazilian economy is also a mixed economy. Both, we have to remember this, Indian economy and Brazil economy is a mixed type of economy. It is an important point of the lesson. Both the Indian and Brazilian economies are developing economies. And both the countries are developing countries. They are not developed as per the developed countries. Both the countries' economies are mixed economy. And both are developing countries' economies. Their per capita income are very less as compared to the developed countries like USA. USA is a developed country. So everything is developed in USA. But as compared to India and Brazil, the per capita income of these two countries are less as compared to USA. It is interesting to note that though India has a higher national income as compared to Brazil, the per capita income of India is lower than Brazil. As we all know that the national income of India is more, but per capita income of India is less than Brazil. Brazil per capita income is more. And this is because of the there is a huge population in India. Because of the increasing population in India, the per capita income of every person is low. The United States is a developing country. We all know that the United States is a developing country. The population of this country is also well educated. In every sector, it is developed, patent, modern technology, mechanical strength is to develop in the United States. The country is far ahead from Brazil and India in terms of national income, in per capita income. The countries are, and Brazil and India is developing in the field of technology advancement, education, industry. So, we have studied that the main crop grown in Various parts of Brazil is coffee, rice, soybean, corn, sugarcane, cocoa, rubber, banana, orange, and pineapple. And the minerals we found in Brazil are iron ore, manganese, coal, bauxite, copper. The fish caught in Brazil is swordfish, shrimps, lobster, third eye. And in India, the major crops are wheat, rice, sorghum, millet, maize, cotton, sugarcane, tea, coffee, rubber. Jute, apple, mangoes, and spices. And the fishes in India we find is sardine, mackerel, bombay duck, prawns, etc. And the states of India in which fish forms the important port of diet is Maharashtra, Goa, Kerala, Tamil Nadu, Odisha, West Bengal. And the states of India having deposit of minerals, various minerals found in India. And the states are Jharkhand, Odisha, Chhattisgarh. Madhya Pradesh, Rajasthan, Tamil Nadu, Maharashtra, etc. We have also seen the place of minerals of oil refiners in India. India is Koyali, Digboy, Nunmati, Bongaigao, Baruni, and Mathura. These are the places where we have found oil refineries. The goods included in the import of Brazil is machinery, Brazil import machinery, chemical product, fertilizer, wheat, heavy vehicles, mineral oil, and lubricant. The goods included in the export of Brazil is coffee, cocoa, soybean, cotton, sugar, oranges, bananas, tobacco, and iron oil. The goods included in the import of India is petroleum, machines, pearls, precious stone, gold, silver, paper, and medicine. The goods included in export of India are the tea, coffee, spices, leather, leather goods, 
iron ore cotton silk textile and mango so these are the important points we have to keep in mind relating to brazil and india how is the agriculture how is the fishing how is the animal husbandry and how is the mining so these are the four main occupation done in india and brazil related to this these are the main points the main crops grown grown in brazil and india the fishes found in brazil and india the minerals found in brazil and india the different industry in brazil and india we have to keep in mind and the goods which are imported and exported to india and of brazil and the trading partners we also have to keep in mind major trading partners are of uh, brazil are germany usa canada italy argentina saudi arabia and india and of india is uk usa germany japan china russia we have also learned of brics brics stand for the five countries which come together for the development of industrial sector and the development of every B for Brazil, R for Russia, I for India, C for China, and S for South Africa. We have seen the import from Brazil and export of Brazil also. The export to Brazil, Indian goods are export to exported to Brazil in. so as per geographical explanation indian companies set up industrial centers all over brazil and invested a lot of capital the indian companies have invested in such sector as it pharmaceuticals energy agriculture business mining engineering and auto sector these are the indian companies which invested a lot in the brazil company of it pharmaceutical and energy agriculture business mining engineering brazil food step in india is smaller but important the brazilian companies had invested in automobiles it mining energy biofuels footwear sector in india and we have uh, learned that brazil has been the largest producer of coffee from last 50 years the plant belongs originally to ethiopia and it was brought by the brazil bought by brought to brazil by some french settlers established in the state of para in the 18th century coffee farms are called as fazendas the brazil coffee farms are called as fazendas taxes are important part of economy and the trade of any country so india has switched to gst like that brazil has also adopted the system from 1984 like india in brazil too gst has various class so we have finished with the lesson number 8 economy and occupation okay two students are raising their hand ma'am can we ask them okay yes hadi shake from lk vag ji unmute yourself Hadi Sheikh, you are raising your hand. Any students who are having the doubts, we are having three minutes yet. Ma'am has completed with the chapter. Complete chapter is being explained to you very nicely with the slides and a diagrammatic presentation. 
so those students who are having some doubts regarding any of this topic they can raise their hand lk bagdi secondary hadish sheik you are raising your hand any students no one is answering ma'am you can continue pradna ma'am you can continue still we have 2 minutes like this we have uh, studied the lesson eight number economy and occupation so if you have any problem you can ask go through the lesson read the lesson if you have any doubt note it down in next period you can ask me and clear the doubt we have studied of the gdp also the percentage of population also various graphs i have shown you related to the agriculture and the major activities of the brazil the different types of logos primary activities fishing mining industries agriculture animal husbandry in india and brazil both the trade of both the countries also we have studied the position of what is the, how is the import how is the export and the balance of trade how it is favorable unfavorable as per the year we have studied contribution of trade in gdp also we have done in by this we can see that india is more developed uh, develop, india is developing but as compared to brazil it is developed if you have any doubts note it down and ask me in next lecture also you can ask thank you thank you ma'am okay ma'am okay. yeah thank you Very students welcome 10 minutes we'll start with our next lecture science lecture by pushpa ma'am refresh yourself and rejoin again within 10 minutes 10:45 we'll start with our next lecture